Hi guys, I'm Amanda. I'm from Cupertino, California, and I'm a senior majoring in cosmetic science and formulation design with minors in marketing and chemistry. And today we're going to be talking about research. So let's head to the lab. I think that the best experience that I've had so far is the cosmetic science labs. Um, I've been waiting years and years ever since I was a little kid to make makeup and skincare and personal care products so I'm so glad that I finally was able to have a college career out of it. I would highly recommend everyone get as much hands-on experience as you can. It's a great and very important element uh, as you go into the industry and it's a great way to apply what you're learning in class to real life experiences. And this is what the lab looks like. So the research that I'm working on is we formulated a cream and we're testing the permeability of the active ingredient using a synthetic membrane. And then we're changing a little bit of the cream each time to see if there's a difference in permeability. So I found this research opportunity actually reaching out to Dr. Baki, our program director. She always takes researchers each semester, so I emailed her back in the fall if I can do research, and then I've been on from the fall and the spring since. Today we're doing a Francel study, and this is what we use to test permeability. So now we're going to test our samples in the UV spectrophotometer to measure absorbance. So now we're going to be doing hour two of 24 for our study. And now we're going to measure the absorbance. Some tips that I have for students that are trying to get involved in research would be to reach out to your professor or a professor that is leading research with something that you're interested in. Also getting involved with your program is really important and getting connected with your fellow students. And then lastly, to expand your horizons on the research that you want to do. There are so many different topics that you may not know about going into research, so just having an open mind on learning about different things is going to be key. The learning environment in research lab is different than the classroom because it's more independent. You are less supervised. Also, you learn and develop different highly specialized skills which are going to be really useful when you get into the industry. And then lastly, what you're learning in the classroom and in your lectures will be applied into what you're learning in research. So it's a great way to make you more independent and a well-rounded student. advice that I have for incoming freshmen or for students that are considering UT would be to just get involved and put yourself out there. Making friends in your classes, in your dorm, uh, in orgs, and just finding people that have common interests is going to be a great way to have long-lasting friendships. Coming from me as an out-of-state student, do not be afraid to go out of state for college. I'm from California and I've definitely had times where I was super homesick but just from what I've learned in this program that I'm in and my experience at UT, it's honestly very worth it. Uh, also, being out of state and having that experience is a great way to make you more mature and help you grow up. I think what I'm going to miss most about UT is all of my friends, my faculty advisor, Dr. Baki, and just all the experiences that I've learned within cosmetic science and formulation design major. So I'm about to head to campus to do my last sample of my 24-hour study. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and good luck on your future research opportunities. Go Rockets!